Hello and welcome. Our today's topic is AWS CrowdTrail Data Events. If you have your S3 bucket and if you go to the S3 bucket over here, in this particular bucket properties, here you will get this particular option. AWS CrowdTrail Data Events. Why we have this options over here and what is the use case of this options? We are going to understand this. Let's start. First of all, I am going to start with the introduction of AWS CloudTrail Data Events for S3. CloudTrail Data Events provide detailed log of all the actions performed on object within your S3 bucket. It is kind of auditing. What is happening, your, happening with your bucket? Who is creating objects inside the bucket? Who is accessing all these objects? You are going to get all this detailed log about your S3 bucket through the CloudTrail data events. This includes the actions like get object, someone is downloading the object from your bucket, uploading the object, deleting the object, you will get detailed information about it. There is granularity allow you to see exactly who access which object when and from where. Now, this is the main use case of the CloudTrail data events. If you are following us from day one, and if you have watched our previous video, you will definitely confuse over here because in the previous video, I already explained you about server access logging. And do you know that server access logging having a similar use case as well. I don't want you to become confused over here. So what I have added over here, I just added a difference between server access logging and cloud drill data events. After reading all this, after watching this particular differences, there will be no confusion and you can easily answer questions in the exam as well. So let's complete this here. I just added five differences between server access logging and cloud trail data events. Although there are many differences, but I thought like, okay, just add all this, which is actually, you know, confusing. So let's understand this. The first thing we have is a primary focus, why AWS having this server access logging and why they have different another auditing tool like CloudTrail data event. So the primary focus of server access logging is provide summary level log of requests made to your S3 bucket. Here the word is the most important part, summary level log. If you look at this with the CloudTrail data event, they are using all new tool like another existing tool known as cloud tail. So here you are going to get detail logging. Summary, detail. As you know that with the server access logging, you are getting detail about requester who access your bucket, request time, request action, response status, error codes. You are getting all this detail using server access logging. Along with this, when you are using cloud trail data event, you are going to get all this detail in much more depth and also you are going to get API codes including object level operation like get object, put object and delete. Here you will get same detail like requester, request time, request action but in depth. So the main difference summary level detail and another word that we have associated with this particular CrowdTrail event is API calls. So when somebody will send requests through the AWS console or AWS CLI, we call it like API call. So all the detail related to the API call also included. Here, if you are talking about requester, you may not get detail about the requester like ARN of the requester. Here you will get detail about Amazon resource name of the requester as well. So in-depth detail, you are going to get it from the cloud trend data events. Now you may have question that, you know, we are completely new. We don't know that how this particular detail looking like. So it would be easy if you can verify this. So here I have an example of log entry for put object. If somebody will create new object inside your bucket and if there is, sorry, sorry, I know that you want to watch full video, but full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. 
when you will go to our website you will find out our course 100 days youtube challenge i want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from india if you are from outside of india you just need to pay 7 us dollar once you will enroll to this course you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal you are also going to get certificate after completing the course and we have just uploaded 120 videos we are going to upload another 120 videos as well so there will be total 240 videos i hope we are going to meet inside the class thank you very much